We've been working diligently to strike the right balance in this policy, and I, I do believe we've got that with a firm and responsible, but also a compassionate response. It was a tense debate in the Utah Senate today as a series of bills on transgender youth came up for a final vote. Fox 13 News political reporter Ben Winslow has the story from Utah's Capitol Hill. The bills passed out of the Senate as expected, but some may be changed when they get to the House. It bans tr uh, transgendered surgeries for minors. It also puts a moratorium on new entrants to puberty blockers and cross-sex hormones. Senator Mike Kennedy's bill appeared for a final vote on the Senate floor. Democrats rallied against it, saying it's targeting vulnerable transgender youth. We love these kids. We love these families. We know these families love their kids. People like me are not accepted by the majority of this body. Senator Nate Bluen read a statement from his legislative intern who disclosed he would be impacted by this very bill. To anyone discouraged by how the majority of this legislature will vote, uh, I will say this. Remember that life will get so much better if you are willing to hold on. And the best thing you can do to overcome those who try to diminish your existence is to continue to exist. I will have to face each of you on this floor after this vote. Uh, and each of you will have to face me and many other transgender people after today. One Republican joined Democrats in voting against it. This chair has significant positive outcomes for transgender youth. And having received 21 yay votes, 7 nay votes. The bill is likely to face changes in the House of Representatives. They'll have their way with this bill. In a statement, Governor Spencer Cox signaled his support, saying the scientific community has raised legitimate concerns about the long-term effect of surgeries and medications on our transgender youth. Senator Kennedy's bill to pause these procedures is a reasonable and thoughtful approach. Equality Utah says if the bill becomes law, it might invite litigation. And I think anytime you're banning access to life-saving care, you're inviting litigation. The Senate also voted to approve a bill blocking birth certificate changes until age 18, and one on how schools can handle notifying parents about a child's pronouns and any name changes. I consider this bill a parental rights bill. It's to clarify that um, our school districts and charter school schools should not be adopting secret policies and hiding them from parents. The sponsor of that bill agreed to make changes allowing a teacher to call a student by their preferred name or pronouns in a classroom, but any changes to a formal education record need parental involvement. Equality Utah says it doesn't oppose it. Let's extend a little grace on all sides here. If a student says, I'd like to be called this, why not call them that? Now a House version of the bill banning hormone treatments for transgender children will be heard in a committee next week alongside Senator Kennedy's bill. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.